So what's this test supposed to do? Just say the first thing that comes to your mind. Is she looking straight into the camera? This seems strange. Usually a patient would be looking at the psychiatrist, not the camera when doing a psyche eval. Or are you meaning to tell me that they have some sort of Google Glass type technology in a world where they still use magnetic tape to store a video? Ascension. Trap. Ooh, foreshadowing. Here's a huge sin right off the bat. This is one of those shows that had an epic soundtrack composed but doesn't know how to use it. That's why in virtually every scene it's completely over the top, loud, annoying and really takes away more than it gives. Damn shame. You are not a weirdo. The girl who locked herself in the supply closet when the fire joined up. Also the girl who needs to do expository dialogue because the script demands it. Is it from your boyfriend? He's no boy. That's not what that word means. I thought we weren't talking about work on these runs. I'm the captain. I can change the rules. I think I've made myself very clear in the past that I'm the this, I'm the that dialogue gets on my nerves. But this is just the pinnacle. You couldn't just have had any of the crew members address him as captain. You had to put that line in the script? Well, f*** you. That's how we do it in Merrick. I mean, sexism. Stewardesses get all the prettiest clothes. Stewardesses? Since when do US military vessels have stewardesses? Nixon, Bordeaux. What's Bordeaux? What? They don't know what Bordeaux is? Oh, I would have almost forgotten this is science fiction. Maybe because all of the sets look like they're either from a 21st century apartment or a 21st century ship. I know they probably think it's artsy and non-distracting, but I think it's lazy. You know they talk about wine a lot. Who does? Books. She plays the pronoun game with goddamn books. Is it even possible to hit a wine glass so fast that the stem stays put while the top goes flying? Is it? Or are the glasses just taped to the table with double-sided tape because the director said so? I'm surprised to see you here. What? Are you afraid that I'm gonna rain on your parade? Uh, nothing like the love of a sister. Yeah, I'm just not feeling it. Am I supposed to feel anything during this scene? Because I don't. I don't know these characters by name yet. There's still the black commander, the dead shady woman, and the bearded dude's nondescript wife to me. Oh no 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 no, you cannot be serious. You can't just reuse a previous scene one by one. I mean, you can, but it's sinful as fuck. <laughs> and until now, Captain, I thought the only good decision you ever made was your wife. Is it just me or is this some great f shitty acting? You shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't be doing that, and especially not when surrounded on all sides by onlooking onlookers. Lorelei! Lorelei! I typically watch Netflix with my headphones. Fuck me, right? This is the worst timed cool rocket man scene of all time. Hmm, let's see, that's minus one for cool scene, minus one for rocket man, and plus one for atrocious pacing. I'll give you that one, Ascension. Wait, so if that's the axis of rotation of the spacecraft, which it is, how the hell does gravity work in here? Have they actually invented real artificial gravity in the 60s? I guess the real question is, am I supposed to believe that sh**? The set design of the Ascension is so bad, for the first half of this scene on Earth, I genuinely thought that we were still on the Ascension. What are you typing? It's actually called texting. Yeah. No, it's not. Texting is the act of exchanging text messages. The input of the text messages themselves is still called typing. They're just words on a screen. They're not just words on a screen. There's a world in here, and when you type on it, you become part of that world. You change it. You have to take responsibility for that. Father gives his obviously old enough son some sort of third grade internet safety lesson. 
and instead of teaching him that sticks and stones may break his bones but words can never hurt him, he tells him that he is to self-censor to protect the feelings of others. And I get that I can hardly send the political opinions of a character, so I'll just send the f***ed up lighting in this scene. I guess it's kind of hard to top a dad who escaped from the Nazis and then develop rockets for NASA, huh? It's also kind of hard to bear with this cringe-worthy expository dialogue for f**k's sake! Your father was convinced that the U.S. could launch an interstellar spacecraft right then, in the 60s, with the technology we had. I think he did it. What in the f**k? You are actually meaning to tell me that the U.S. military managed to launch a generation ship twice the size of the Eiffel Tower in the 1960s? And not just that, you are meaning to tell me that they did it all in secret? Without anyone noticing? Even after decades of virtually every nation watching the sky for a living, not a single astronomer has noticed the gigantic vessel flying away from Earth. My best friend's name is Bullshit, and I'm calling him right now. I work for the government. Do you have any idea how incompetent it is? Do you really think that they could do something like this and no one would know? This dude, I don't know his name, in fact, I don't know any names beside Lorelei, and I'm 21 minutes into the episode. Anyways, this dude would be brilliant at TV since. Safety is our priority. They did not. Priority. They did not seriously. Priority. They can't have. Priority. 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 I think they did. They ripped off a Star Trek sound. They committed the unholiest of all sins. How am I gonna tell my wife her sister's dead? I'm saying it's hard for me to believe it was just an accident. <laughs> you cannot be serious. I have more tact than that and I have no tact at all. Alright then, your chief safety officer, what's your theory? Even worse than I am the this, I am the that, is the you're the so-and-so and therefore you must do this dialogue. Does the captain really believe that Lorelai was murdered? I'm looking into it, but remember the official story is that it was an accident. Do you know why she's rehashing the dialogue of the previous scene? Because TV makers still have to factor in the amount of plot people forget during ad breaks. Still, it's kind of insulting that they didn't even trust us to remember this. Usually, the crisis is a normal part of coming of age. We all have to deal with the fact that we have no control over our destiny, that this was chosen for us before we were born. It hit me when I was 14. God f***ing damn it. Why do these middle-aged people have to regurgitate the fundamentals of living on a spaceship to each other as if they didn't know about it already? I mean, don't get me wrong, exposition is important, but you can be a little more graceful about it, damn it. Rotate from the stores evenly, skim a little at a time, no one will notice. At least not for a decade. At least not for a decade is a neat excuse when you have a chance of running away at the end of the decade. You don't, so shut the f*** up. I don't want you running around on the lower decks right now. Dr. Choi's having a workshop, I want to check it out. But you've already committed to a medical apprenticeship with me. Well, maybe I'm uncommitting. That's why I want to explore my options. Don't look at me that way, you still have plenty of time to find a new apprentice. Jacqueline isn't even acting right here. She's just genuinely annoyed to be on this awful show. Police manuals were written for people on Earth. Where cops walk the beat and there's an infrastructure in place to deal with criminals. Read detective stories. That's your idea? They made a number of movies if you're too lazy to turn a page. Show seriously suggests that watching detective movies makes you good at detective work. The video card. She kept it. Video card? What? So you do have flash memory in this universe. But why did we see the security operator earlier play back film off of an old analog magnetic tape? Seems to me an SSD would be much more advantageous in that situation. This ship was a trillion dollar payday. Fifty years ago a bunch of people lined their pockets and then sent us out here to die. Your logic isn't sound. People on Earth aren't and weren't saints, yeah, but why the hell would they spend hundreds of billions of dollars to send 600 people to their doom? And how would that help them line their pockets? Who wrote this dialogue? Holy sh**! <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. 40 minutes in and there are already more affairs, relationships and, frankly, characters to ever keep track of. I couldn't tell you who's boning who and why and if it's lawful or not. These two characters right here? No idea who they are. You see that star cluster? It's not a star cluster, it's a binary star system. Alpha Centauri is binary. Two suns orbiting each other. But when we zoom in a little closer, 
we can see a third. That's Proxima. Wrong. Proxima orbits the Regillian barycenter about a thousand times further out than A and B. In fact, its orbit is so wide, it is to this day not known if Proxima Centauri even orbits the Alpha Centauri barycenter at all. That's how far away it is. The exact distance is 0.2 light years. So in fact, you need to zoom out, not in, to see Proxima Centauri. That's where we're going to live. You're wrong. There's no life there. There doesn't have to be life there for people to live there, you little sh**. Also, what the hell is that supposed to be? Nothing in our vicinity looks like that, and certainly not the Alpha Centauri system. 